So 15 years, this franchise almost. Can you believe that it's still going on this long, that Alice has touched so many people, I guess? <laughs> well, we definitely did not see it coming. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's really, you know, I like to say this is a movie made by fans for mm -hmm. the fans. And, um, you know, we, we had so much fun making the first one. So we were really happy that, you know, it resonated with people, mm -hmm. but definitely couldn't imagine <laughs> sitting here 15 years later still playing Alice. <laughs> <laughs> and now, I mean, your story with this franchise is also kind of amazing. You met your husband, it's your true. daughter's in this final film. Well, I, I've never had a film change my personal life quite this much yeah. ever. I was going to say, have you ever thought about how different it would be if you hadn't done the first well, film? Well, it's funny because my <laughs> little brother, um, who was 13 at the time, he introduced me to the game, Resident Evil, and we became addicted and we would play together. And that's why I wanted to do the movie. And I make a, I joke around with him. I said, if it wasn't for you bringing <laughs> Resident Evil to my house that one day, you know, I would never have met my husband or had my beautiful girl. So. <laughs> and how was it having her on the set? What was her first day on set like for this one? You know, her first day, it was all on a stage against a green screen. So it was, <laughs> it was really good because she got a chance to get comfortable and she was on her own. But she, Ever was so amazing and did such a great job and memorized her lines so well that we started bringing her to set because, you know, just so the other actors could kind of see what the Red Queen was going to look like. And she did so great. We just kept bringing her back to do the scenes with the actors. And, um, and the guys from special effects were so happy because they said, well, we hardly have to do anything now because we were going to create her all in the computer. But now that she's on set, you know, we have everything we need. She did great. She, she really <laughs> is. Now, looking back over the whole franchise, Alice is very, each one, she has a very different look. Do you have a favorite costume and then a least favorite costume from the franchise? Um, I guess my favorite costume would have to be in number three. Okay. Um, the which, duster. Yeah, the duster <laughs> and the the, sh the shorts with the star on the back. <laughs> and my least favorite, I guess maybe in, you know, the last one, the tight black <laughs> umbrella suit. <laughs> was very, very uncomfortable. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and really annoying to have to like put on and take off, so I, I'll go with that. All right, and then on a scale of one to 10, 10 being 100% certain, how sure are you that this is the final chapter for Alice? We won't see you as Alice in a future film. Uh, well, I mean, I, I guess I have to say 10. I mean, it's the final chapter, and it's sad for me because yeah. I, I love playing Alice so yeah. much, and she's such a big part of my life. I mean, <laughs> she's changed everything for me. Um, but also, you know, we all live our normal everyday lives, and mm -hmm. it's not every day that you can go into the Resident Evil world. Yeah. And it's all there, the <laughs> zombies, the post-apocalyptic <laughs> landscapes, um, the amazing sets, the amazing stunts. Um, it's just so much fun, so I'm gonna miss that world.